What's up, y'all? I am Jaren. I am a voice teacher, speech trainer, and the founder and owner of this amazing studio, the Jaren M. Legree Studio. This is not something I typically talk about on this channel, but I have always loved the sound of this choir and his music. And so I said, you know what? I'm gonna do this for me because I want to do it. And I used to sing all this kind of stuff in middle school and high school and college and even grad school. And I kind of miss it sometimes, you know, kind of having this type of singing in my life. I used to have it all the time and now I don't have it at all. But this type of music will always be part of my roots and so I'm excited to talk about it. Here's my own personal voice analysis of the Moses Hogan Chorale singing one of my favorite songs from back in the day, Elijah Rock. Oh, E, La. Real staccato. E like you love your book, and everything's quick and light. Even the concepts are very quick and bouncy, or I guess staccato in nature. And then when the higher voices came in, it was kind of like a you love your book, you love your book. Oh, with a little breathy throw. Ooh, some good textures, some good textures to this group. Pass his way. You see how light and almost breathy, but still very percussive and very intentional articulatory-wise this stuff is? I love the polyphony, but the cohesiveness of the O, E, Li, Ja. Oh, you love your buck. Oh, you love your buck. You love your. Oh, you love your buck. Oh, you love your buck. You love your. It sounds like a train. So it was very percussive, and it gives that that driving feeling, that forward moving feeling, while the voices will come in on Elijah Rock right here. Coming up, Lordy. It was a car. No, coming up, Lordy. Right there. Mm-hmm. Lord, that slight vibrato on the Lord. Ooh, Lord. There's also a roundness. Come it up, Lordy. Elijah Rock, shout, shout. But those T's are there. Shout, shout. Elijah Rock, come it up, Lord. So there's a lot of intentional articulatory movements happening to make the sound what it is. You hear how they got louder? Satan ain't nothing but a stick in a ground. He's a country, he's a lie. hallelujah Lord. Then the hallelujah Lord was very soft. Hallelujah Lord. Yeah. When I was in um, high school, I did first tenor. Um, but when I got to college, especially grad school, I started doing alto and soprano in the choral groups. Um, I've never got to sing this song um, when I was a soprano and alto. I wish I would have. I would have sang this high part. He loved your book. I didn't write that. Shout, shout, come up, Lordy. Shoot, could tell me nothing. <laughs> I love I love singing soprano and alto in groups like this. I just I just I just like how it feels for me to sing this stuff. Now more legato. If I could, I should yield. And you see how my vowels are all flowing. If I could, I should yield. And it wasn't wood, it was surely wood. Surely wood. You see how I shaped that wood? Surely wood. I 
love this line. If I could, I should you. I love those whales. It sounds like a whale. If I could, I surely would. If I could, and not if I could, if I could, I surely would. Everything's focused. Every vowel is focused. Rock! You see how? Rock! They kind of hit it and it came back. Rock! Okay, now here I always think about this as like the special or the vamp. Though it's choral and it's written out and it's, you know, but it's still kind of like a vamp, you know, so you love your rock, you love your rock, oh, you love your rock, you love your, you know how you in church you hear like, you know, um, what's a song that has a special? Like take for instance, Gain the World, James Hall, or Richard Small, but I was sing praises. So Gain the World, the special would be, you can have sopranos, this whole world, but I'll take Jesus for mine. Then the altos come in, you can you can have this whole world. So that in and the tenors come in, you can have. So that's the special of that part of the vamp. Or like Richard Small was, I will sing praises. Sopranos, I will sing praise. Then altos, I will sing praise, praises unto you. I will sing praise. To tenors, I'll sing praise. So that's kind of the vamp or the special. Like I said, though this is like choral music and spirit, this is still a vamp to me in my brain. This is kind of the vamp, if you will. So yeah, it kind of gives me that church element in choral music and obviously spirituals do have a churchy element in some way shape or form in their fashion of choral music. You hear the increase in volume coming up lordy coming up lordy coming up lordy they got faster and they got louder just a little bit faster and it got louder and they crescendoed right there by the way moses hogan arranged this thing this is moses hogan chorale he's directing this very chorale who's singing his music so they're singing in a way that clearly he wants it sung in okay <laughs> I love those high lines, how they kind of just soar above the choir like that. Oh, I've always loved those lines. Those little, we call a desk can or, you know, soprano one. Um, I did a few of them back in my day too. <laughs> love how they keep certain elements of black voicing in terms of like finesse. Oh, Elijah. Oh, Elijah. They kind of keep that slide. Kind of like that. Okay. They had that little slide in there. I love those elements being kept in. It kind of gives me a tangibleness or relatability to the song for me, you know? The term is, I'm coming up, Lord. That's the end of it. Coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. You see how I'm pantomiming the mallets hitting the bell? Coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Like a timpani. Very percussive and rhythmic in nature of how they finesse the consonants. Coming, coming. They really use those nasal consonants. Coming, coming. Kind of like that. If you enjoyed this analysis, click subscribe down below to click the alert button next to it so you know when the next video is posted. And as I will always, always, always say to you, be vocally bold, creative, and aware, but most of all, be vocally you. All right, y'all, I love you. I'll see you soon.